who am I? What makes it a luxury? As an object that players, collectors and listeners alike Attention to detail, state-of-the-art technology, giving the customer an experience that's beyond his imagination. I'm Florian Leonhardt. I was born in Germany, a violin maker, restorer, dealer and expert in authentication of old Italian instruments. When I touch wood, it gives me information about wavelength, about flexibility, about radiance, about weight. And all those parameters are things that like a computer hard disk in your brain gives you an information. But it still took me probably 25 years before I could feel the wood in my hand. The violin has a certain measurement that we have to adhere to and has a certain shape. That sense, I don't call violin making an art, but it's a craft with an artistic, but not artists. Tens of thousands of violinists studying in, in any country, but only Worldwide, we have five great ones that everybody wants to listen to. Also, the making of such instruments is to, on such a high level that it's very hard to reach by most craftsmen. Many violin makers don't have a real connection to the client, to the player, or to the classical music. They do it like a mechanical thing, like a shoe. Everybody's brought up differently. Everybody has influences in different ways. The ultimate for a client is very bespoke customization. And I enjoy to, to listen to the player's sensitivities, to supply him with what he wants. We're not trying to push a client into believing something they should own. We give the opportunity for a client, i.e. the player, to find what fulfills him long term. I remember how I met Maxim Bengarov, because a player is a very, very skilled person who has been practicing for hours and hours and years and tens of years. So that person knows very exactly when they feel right. So the more I'm able to, to give to this person the feeling what they were looking for subconsciously, the more the person feels happy, fulfilled, and can also say yes to the object. I think that's also part of experience. There are no limits of what a player might want. If I'm able to physically do it through craftsmanship, then, then I can do anything for the client. Advanced customization is customer experience. In the end, I think the more custom made you are in your setup, the more likely the player will be satisfied. Humans have always strived for beauty. You don't only have a box uh, for a computer or a car with four wheels and an engine inside, but you also want elegance. Luxury is the enhancement of the beauty in life. So luxury in some ways is heritage that has been passing on skills that have been honed down the line from generation to generation and constantly being improved. Somebody in the past, like Antonio Stradivari, 
fulfilled all boxes at the top end. He just united all the top qualities you need to make a superstar violin. So when you, when you think about this whole tradition of attitude, where it comes from and who passes it on, and every 20 years things change a little bit in fashion. Each period is already at the very top of violin making anyway. Every generation can start somewhere else. So those things are very often definitions. New ideas set into the minds of people, change people's approach to things. Those are very personally created parts. It's an interpretation of something given. Contemporary craftsmanship might involve constant innovation. What is important though is that it's now put together to the highest standard that survives generations again. Every time you created something that suddenly becomes alive, I think that spirit is what drives the craftsman. All the greatest pieces have one thing in common. If that all comes to a beautiful expression, then you have the spirit of craftsmanship.